our panel previously picked the top 10 Get Up anthems for Atlanta. Here are four songs that didn't quite make the top 10, but definitely deserve an honorable mention. Freestyle, Lil Baby. What, what he brought in terms of voice, what he brought in terms of structure, he didn't yes. sound typical, he didn't sound like stereotypically what you would think Atlanta was, and that was a razor sharpness, an edge about him. Young, handsome dude, great voice, and man, was just spitting the truth. It was just literally like everything he said felt authentic. So. Yeah, he sounded like he came from like the early 2000s, and you know, in, in the way that everything was so assured, and the way he rapped just felt like he like he'd a, been here. He was just talking to you again, like that same kind of quality of just, I'm just talking to you, I'm just telling you what's going yeah. on in my life. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not over exaggerating anything. Everything is real to me. And he had a flow that was just incredibly water. Uh, yeah, Atlanta accent, special. he wear like a, like a, man, he wear mm -hmm. like a master's jacket. <laughs> yeah, he do. And I, and I love that. What did it do on the charts? You know, so this song has a funny little history on the charts because when it first came through, well, back in 2017. They slept. They, yeah, they yeah, really they slept. They didn't do it. <laughs> it, it took time to grow. It was like the clips grinded. It took time to grow. Right, because it, it was like, okay, you know, kind of. But then uh, social media in 2022, there was some sing, some commercials. People started to pick up on it again, which is kind of one of the nice things about this era is, you know, you can miss a record the first time, and luckily there's so Back. many ways for it to yeah. come back around. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the songs that came back around. In 2022, actually, it had its biggest year. Got to 59 on the Hot 100, and this is, like, not even really as a single, like, you know, not a radio push. Right. It's just sort the of organic it streams. Like the, yeah. You're just moving. The, uh, streaming charts on yeah. iTunes right now. People yeah, I mean, it always is, it's always real consistent. Got to number eight on rap songs, so clearly that second win was, was the one. Oh, let's do it. Mm. Waka Flocka. We know what Waka is and the movement that he did. Yeah, shout so. out to Waka, man. Yeah, he was yeah. one of the first ones to believe in, you know, my music. And he uh, was probably one of the first placements I had for real. He was the first rap rock star. And like I, I can't remember. call him the first. You got Kilo Ali, you got Andre 3000, you got CeeLo. Well, no, but I, don't, he... I don't, I don't, I don't, when I look at, I, that's different level rock star. Oh, okay. Like Andre for me is like up there with Lenny Kravitz. Oh. Like that's a different level of rock oh, okay. star. When but we have Waka is like star. different yeah. rock star. Street rock star. Yeah, yeah street yeah. rock star. So it's a different vibe. No, Andre's giving Lenny Kravitz rock star and that's a whole different like. And like Mike said, he's like a punk rocker. Yeah, that's punk rock. Yeah, there you go. That's bad brains. He's bad brains. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. Kennedy's yeah. He's like. There you go. Yeah. Punk yeah. rocker. What did he do on the charts? Uh, big hit, of course. Number seven on the rap side. So uh, really just established him in that national conversation. Like we said, no hands come soon after that. Keeps it going. 62 on the Hot 100, so his first, you know, major hit there. Uh, at the time, the crossover, not quite, you know, ATL still moving up in the mm -hmm. scene. Obviously, a lot of people still associated with Crunk and all those kind of mm -hmm. things. So sometimes, you know, the Pioneer records don't get quite the same shine as the ones that come after. But of course, seven on the rap side really meant that the rap community understood. One thousand percent. And they good, so. One One thousand percent. Ain't gonna let up. 2006. Oh, man, that's, I'm from the Yo, west side. Okay. Y'all might not know what the hell we talking about. When we talking about DD Yola, man, he just from a forgotten apartment on the forgotten side of town. And, you know, when you hear the kid rap, man, it's like, it's like a Rocky story. Like, he wasn't supposed to make it. What him and Midnight Black was able to do with that record, mm -hmm. you know, I ain't gonna let up, I ain't gonna let no haters get to me. Oh, oh no, no. 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 <laughs> yeah. I, have say, I have to say, you know, nothing else to say. It's just, that's the Atlanta spirit. Like, man, we was overlooked, we was laughed at, we was joked on, we was booed at, on the 1995 Source Awards when Drake say the South got something to say, and Atlanta just has not let up. Mm -hmm. No matter how good or bad we doing, we got some product coming out for you, you know? Why do you think this song in particular has such a stronghold? That young man with that record gave a side of town, an apartment complex, a people from Atlanta a sense of pride that they had had. Cause we had went national by then, and we also was starting to do national shit. Mm -hmm. You know, we was also starting <laughs> to chase, you know what I mean? It's not always good to do what the broader audience is doing. So I just, I've always had a special place. So even if it doesn't make it, that's on my top. That's my number one on my honorable mention. Cause I know a lot of people just might not know the song. I, I mean, Lord knows I know the song, but Come then on. again, I grew up in the South. So what Come did on. it do chart wise? On a national level, we're talking, got 65 on the hot R&B hip hop song so. chart. So 
I mean, again, a hometown win. Lasted 20 weeks on the chart, so even though wow. I didn't necessarily, That's huge. you know, blow, blow through the roof of top 10 or whatnot, I think it was that real hometown, like, yeah. just that win for Atlanta, Atlanta radio station supporting a lot of local buying, like, that really propped it up. Get low, Lil John, Eastside Boys, Yin Yang Twins. All these guys. Hard to beat that. Super Atlanta, super duper duper Atlanta. Lil John in itself and the tracks that he makes is nothing but pure energy. Uh, that beat comes on, you're like, wait a minute. Yeah, that's what your mom was doing in college, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember where you were when you would hear Lil John or, or, or you can hear Get Low the first time it came oh, out? Yeah, I was in college running around New York, just wilding out and Again, this was a time when it seemed like Atlanta had another hit every week, and it was a bad time to be a New York rap fan at that time, because everything in the club was just coming from Atlanta. And this was another one where, I think it went like number two on the Hot 100. It yep. was humongous. You heard it everywhere. Yin Yang Twins were, were, were superstars in their own right, which is insane. And I just remember going to, you know, we would just, Fucking club hop, you mm -hmm. club hop every weekend, and every club you would go to would play the song. You're right, you would just hear it multiple times a night. Very few songs were like that. Yeah. This was this mm. one. I, and I can't even call Yin Yang Twins superstars. I don't write. They were superstars. They, yeah. you know I'm saying like yeah. by themselves, like, they were. Superstars. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. Just like man, stand alone. That yeah. whisper song. They, yeah. I just. Oh my gosh. And, still. Yeah. What? Whisper song. And, and then Atlanta didn't have any prejudices. Mm. Like it seemed like a lot of other places, you had to look a certain way or be associated with. Atlanta was just like, you got a hit record, it, it got the club jumping. Oh man, come on, man. You know what I mean? It was, it was those guys. Were I great. can't believe that this song came out in 2002. <laughs> oh, 2002? 2002. 